Welcome to the never-ending panel, another episode in which our various guests, the imposing, the beautiful, the strong Eitan Cullen. Beautiful. The charming, the debonair, the dangerously handsome Charles Lee Jackson II. Second, second, second. second. And the somewhat crazy-looking Danny Collin. I am Le Petit de Mate, and I am your moderator. And this be... Our immoderate moderator. And then, of course, we've got... And this be Tom Man Tim. Boop. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir, Man Tim. He doesn't Thank get you. any adjectives? This be... Oh, he's beautiful. He's, the he's a lovely the man. Technically competent. Insightful. And carries a big microphone? Right, and this be the pirate panel. The pirate panel. The pirate panel. The pirate panel. And I'm starting as my moderator. Tell me, have you ever considered a career in pirating? It's a lovely life. Well, I did work for the government. <laughs> That's just daylight I robbery, saying, not pirating. I think in piracy, work so for the government is an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> you wear large pants, all right? You wear large pants. You get to wear large you pants. You can wear stripy socks. And you shoot people. And if you don't like your ship, you go and steal another one. That's what it's like. Open air work. You meet all kinds of interesting people. And so rob them. Who are full of ship. Right. I'm just saying. You just keep dragging <laughs> me down. Right. And you know what it smells like? It smells like this. Oh. Nasty. This be pine tar. Oh. This be what nautical twine is coated with. It's the scent of piracy. Oh, it's disgusting. It's the only thing in the, worse, in the world that's worse than my socks. So if you want to be a pirate, you get to smell stuff. Who wants rum and gunpowder? Well, rum and yeah. gunpowder? Rum and gunpowder. A room with gunpowder? No, no, rum. Stop distracting him. He hasn't what given the me the thing? rum. What is this, Pirates. a Pink Panther movie? Give me the damn rum. <laughs> That's a beautiful sight. Phaeton kind of looks like a modern-day pirate. All right. Does anyone besides me have anything to say about piracy? How much does it pay? Uh, how much do you want to work? Do you like being drunk? Oh, yeah. All right. That's one of the perks of the job. You can't stop them drinking. That's what I'm trying to say. You cannot stop a pirate drinking. The only time the captain's really in command is in battle. The rest of the time... Well, he's just making suggestions, really. Well, I'm, I'm got, I've got to think that there had to have been some level of pretty good organization, even among the pirates, given the fact that they were around and, ha and are still around um, for quite some time. We, we have this vision, to get serious for a second, of, of pirates being, you know, crazy and fun and the ride and everything like that. But there, there, it, there's, there's got to be some sort of mafia sort of setup involved to keep these guys running so successfully for so there long. There was no overarching in, uh, in organization. There was not. There, there was wasn't no... like a grand pirates convention every year? and No, no, and except you... when uh, uh, Calico Jack met Edward Teach. Uh, at a ro oh, no hitting the table, I'll hit you. Pirates actually had a very strong uh, set of um, agreements within each ship. They had very strong agreements about how the shares were divided up and how um, you know, the punishments were dealt out and what the laws of the ship were. They had the earliest forms of democracy to a certain degree. Did they, make, did they reach these agreements article. under the influence of alcohol? One might say despite, but it was equitable. The pirate ship was egalitarian. And he's right. They shared them out according to article, ship's articles. Egalitarian. And you know what happened? Um, how they changed command? There'd be a vote. They voted on who was captain. They didn't just kill people? No. Ah. No. When Charles Vane was ousted by Calico Jack, they held a vote. And they put Vane, Vane in a longboat with his supporters and said, Here, have some guns, have some food, have some money, take some shares. Just go away. You know, you can steal another ship, and he did. It seems to me like this looks pretty good. I get on the ship, and you're talking about this democracy, and I can drink all I want, um, and, and there's voting. Now, what's the downside? Where's the ugly pirate The pirate fruit? hunters catch you and kill you. That's what happened to Calico <laughs> Jack. That's what happened to... Ca well, that could be That's a bad thing. That's what happened to Charlie Vane. Happened to a lot of them. So, it's People the, were so in other words... Edward it's, Teach was beheaded. It's outside stuff that would be bad, but actually the truth is the life on the pirate ship wasn't nearly as, 
uh, it, it wasn't all, it wasn't quite so bad. It, it depends on how well you get along with people. Uh, that would be bad. <laughs> we're, a, we're a big party. You know how Calico Jack was taken? Him and his crew were drunk. You know who Kill nearly... Surprise. Yes. Him and his crew were drunk. But you know who fought off, nearly fought off, uh, Baron and his pirate hunters? Barnet, sorry, Barnet. The women. Yes. And Bonnie and Mary Reed, female pirates. Very dangerous, especially Mary Reed. Ooh. Killed a man in a duel, she did. That should be a toughest good comic pirate book One of the toughest pirates. pirate ever. Well, we don't have generals. There are no we generals. Have, we have captains and quartermasters. And as captain of this here panel, I'm telling you, he's running out of time. So I'm going to pass it on for final comments. Yeah. I have to say, if you, uh, if you want to follow in the footsteps of Big Doug Fairbanks or Tyrone Power or Burt Lancaster or Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, piracy is the in. Uh, <laughs> Them movie pirates got all the girls. Yeah. And uh, the real ones apparently get all the rum. And the sclerosis. <laughs> and the scurvy. And speaking of scurvy, I think that's a good time to end our uh, panel since our executive producer is saying we will be walking the plank uh, if we don't. We never did that. So here's where you get to end the panel, pirate guy. I've got a name. I am... Le Petit de Marte. Le Petit de Marte. The bravest and boldest pirate in history, except for Henry Morgan. Who will be Charlie the deadest Bain. pirate in history if you don't wrap up the panel. Ah, soon. well, that's all the time we've got for. <laughs> I don't have time to list the pirates who are better than me. So good night. Good night. Screwed up. The comments are above me somewhere. Go on there. Have fun. Whatever. <laughs> down there. Down there. Down there. Go down. Down, down, down. Down among the dead men. <laughs> down, down among the dead men. Let you lie. Good night. <laughs>